Welcome back traders. Glad you're here today. In this video, I will show you how to build a powerful and reliable trading strategy with the, moment the Momentum Based Zigzag by Peter O plus ADX and DI by Baker Buiyaji to detect high winning trade probability setups in the market. The Momentum Based Zigzag Indicator by Peter O is used to identify significant price swings or reversals in a chart. This indicator connects the most recent high and low points in the price action and plots lines or segments connecting these points. It helps traders identify trends and key support and resistance levels. This methodology is best when the market is moving relatively slowly, but when the price starts chopping up and down, there's no way the zigzag follows accurately. On the other hand, if you set it too tight, for example, pivot confirmation after only two or even one candle, you will get hundreds of zigzag lines and they will tell you nothing. The best way to implement this indicator is to apply it to follow the market. If the trend was reversed, then it has reversed and there is no need to wait for a predefined number of candles for confirmation. Such reversals will always be visible on momentum indicators, such as the most popular Mark D. A single line moving average can also be good enough to notice reversals or the QQE indicator. To apply this indicator on the trading chart, search the keyword the momentum based zigzag and select the momentum based zigzag by Peter O on the trading view indicator community folder. For a better understanding of the Mark D, MA, or QQE, there is a need to check these listed indicators, functionalities, and parameter settings in the Momentum Based Zigzag Indicator by Peter O. There is the Select Momentum Indicator. This option offers the availability to choose between the QQE, Mark D, or MA indicator. By default, QQE is selected. If traders choose to use the QQE, then such traders need to check the QQE Selected Settings option down here. The QQE indicator is calculated based on the smoothed RSI, Relative Strength Index. The QQE combines the RSI length of 14 by default. RSI smoothing is 5. QQE factor is 4.238. Threshold is 10. And the take profit level is 200. If you choose to use the QQE as the main momentum indicator, then it signifies you want to track the price fluctuations based on the smoothed RSI parameter settings on the price chart. If you choose to use the MA as the main momentum indicator, then it signifies you want to track the price fluctuations based on the smoothed out price data over a specified time period to identify trends. The MA settings are average type, which is SMA, smooth moving average by default. The length period of the MA to identify the trend is 20 by default. If you choose to use the Mark D as the main momentum indicator, then it signifies you are primarily interested in identifying potential trend changes, momentum shifts, and potential buy or sell signals. So, whichever momentum indicator you choose will work in line to help identify reverses, the highest or lowest point from the impulse when caught and zigzag gets printed. Now, let's check out the ADX and DI by Baker Buiyaji. To apply this indicator on the trading chart, search the keyword the ADX and DI and select the ADX and DI by Baker Buiyaji. Here is the indicator under the price chart. ADX and DI are used to elevate the strength and direction of a trend in the market. The ADX, along with the DI, can be powerful tools for trend analysis and trading. There is the length, by default it is set to 14. There is a threshold, by default it's set to 20. Under the style selection, there is the DI, positive directional indicator, and DI, negative directional indicator. DI positive, positive directional indicator. DI positive, green color, represents the strength of upward price movement and is used to gauge bullish momentum. DI negative, negative directional indicator. DI negative, red color, represents the strength of downward price movement and is used to gauge bearish momentum. Next is the ADX, average directional index, blue color. The ADX measures the strength of a trend, regardless of its direction. It ranges from 0 to 100, with higher values indicating a stronger trend. ADX values below 20 typically suggest a weak or non-existent trend 
while values above 25 to 30 suggest a developing or strong trend. What happens if ADX is above DI positive, DI negative? The ADX itself provides valuable information about trend strength. The ADX can be used to confirm the strength of bullish trend signals generated by the DI crossovers. For instance, if DI positive crosses above DI negative and the ADX is rising, it may indicate a strong bullish trend. What happens if ADX is below DI positive, DI negative? The ADX can be used to confirm the strength of bearish trend signals generated by the DI crossovers. For instance, if DI negative crosses above DI positive and the ADX is rising, it may indicate a strong bearish trend. How can traders combine the ADX and DI with the momentum-based zigzag indicators to enter a buy position and exit based on indicator ADX and DI signals in the market? To buy with the momentum-based zigzag indicators, first, watch out for a trending bullish market. Wait for a bearish pullback against the bullish trend. Next, wait to see the momentum-based zigzag indicators paint the signal of a green long pivot low on the price chart. Buy a strong bullish candlestick after the long painted signal is generated. Exit the trade or consider taking profits or tightening your stop loss once the ADX starts to decline from a high level, indicating a weakening trend. Exit the trade when the DI positive crosses below the DI negative. To combine the ADX and DI with the momentum-based zigzag indicators to enter a sell position and exit based on indicator ADX and DI signals in the market, first, watch out for a trending bearish market. Wait for a bullish pullback against the bearish trend. Next, wait to see the momentum-based zigzag indicators paint the signal of a red short pivot low on the price chart. Sell a strong bearish candlestick after the short painted signal is generated. Consider taking profits or tightening your stop loss once the ADX starts to decline from a high level, indicating a weakening trend. Exit the trade when the DI positive crosses above the DI negative.